What's up ladies and gentlemen, this is James coming to you on YouTube with another great tutorial and today I'll be showing you exactly how to make this Instagram reel that I've seen on YouTube and how to make it in Final Cut Pro. In this video I'll show you how to do all of this. 27 photos to this sound and let it sync. I've had so much interest from my subscribers on how to make Instagram reels and basically if you use Final Cut Pro you're going to add that much more an edge to your feed and pack as much value into it so your reels will really stand out on the Instagram platform. The main big questions we'll answer in this video will be how to get your saved Instagram audio into Final Cut Pro. We'll also be looking at how to set up your project to be optimized for social media and finally how to use the best export settings so it's optimized for showing on your feed. And not only that, I'll also be showing you how to get the video from Final Cut Pro into Instagram and keep watching to the end because if you're like me have you ever wondered how to come up with the next YouTube video and your stump for ideas well I found the most amazing technique and I will be revealing that today so without much further ado BAM let's do it so step one is basically outlining the project and really the first thing you want to do is grab the audio so basically all I did is went to YouTube type syncs 27 photo Instagram saved audio you'll find that some other people have uploaded theirs to YouTube you can just copy the audio into it as it's a trending TikTok or Instagram reel you can just use that I will also leave a link to the description for this particular reel in the description so you can download the audio for your reels as well for it once you've downloaded your audio onto your desktop, the rest is easy. You just drag and drop it into Final Cut Pro. So here we are in Final Cut Pro. Basically, all I do is create a new project. And for the settings, video to a custom preset. And then with the resolution, it's 1920 by 1080. All you've got to do is type in 1080 by 1920. And you can actually choose vertical, but I do it this way. It gives you more control over the actual settings. That is how you would create your project in Final Cut. All you're doing is getting the, the widescreen and you're flipping it vertical, which is essentially what you see on your phone anyway. This is a look at one of the most recent reels I just made for Instagram, 15 second reel. Basically, the, the rules of it, 26 photos for 0, 0 0.08 seconds, and the last video is just snapped to the end of the audio. The first clip is 4.16 seconds. Easy way to do it, just select the clip you want to retime, it will highlight the time code on your timeline in blue. All you have got to do is just type in 04.16, hit enter and it will retime. It's not doing anything because it's already already retimed. My recommendation is you select all the clips you like at any length, drop them into your timeline, select the clips, then hit control D on your keyboard. All you got to do is 0.8, bam, and it's done it. Basically, I hear a lot of back and forth in many communities about what are the right export settings. Look, I'm going to make it really simple for you. Um, in Final Cut Pro, all you want to do is share to YouTube and Facebook. Um, if you're doing a custom export, it's basically just your standard high definition. You want to, for your compression, you want to prioritize uh, faster encode over better quality because it's going to social media. You want it to be able to play back with variable bandwidths from different users. It's automatically going to select the resolution for you anyway if you've got the highest quality video, which is what you want to do. Final step, of course, is adding the video from your desktop on your laptop or your computer into Instagram, which is a bit tricky. Look, I'll be honest with you, there's a few ways you can do it. Canva uh, Content Planner and iSyst, which are both links in the description, both will do it. They both end up, you have, end up having to pay for it. The technique I use now, since emailing a reel to myself and then uploading from my phone to Instagram is a bit clunky and the files tend to be too big to export that way, it's basically uploading it to the cloud or your Google Photo Library and then downloading it back onto your phone. It's a little bit inconvenient, however, it is a way that actually works and it brings me to the point that if anyone has a better way of doing it, leave the comment, let's get discussion started, all things uh, Instagram reel in the comments and I'll be reading those comments. So that is how you would do it from there, it's all pretty straightforward. Put it into Instagram the way you normally do it from your phone as a, as a separate clip. And as a bonus tip, ladies and gentlemen, if you have an Instagram reel, it works for any platform, YouTube Shorts, Snapchat Spotlight, and even TikTok. You can use the same one and reach a wider audience by doing that. Thank you for sticking to the end and watching the full YouTube video. And finally, if you're always wondering, what is the next YouTube video? What is the next Instagram reel I want to make? How do people come up with their ideas? I'm going to let you in on a secret. Go to the website called Tube Ranker. The link is in the description. All you've got to do is basically type in whatever topic you want and it will generate 
YouTube titles basically based on the word you've put in. It's a great way to come up with more creative YouTube channel titles, but not only that, it gives you great inspiration for your next YouTube video. You can also use it free for 14 days, and after that, there are more affordable plans that include things like a tag generator, hashtag generator, and things like a description generator as well. Very powerful tools. So go head over on over to TubeRanker, 14 days free from the link in the description where you can find daily continuous inspiration. You'll never run out of it. That's it guys. Don't forget to smash that likes button if this video has helped you. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments and I will ignore you in the comments. Until then, I'm James Robinson. It's been a pleasure and I'll see you in the next video.